Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, Jesus, God, they're so broken tonight, God, they're still not getting excited about the fact that you chose to go to that cross for them. God, Lord, I pray that you begin to move in a mighty, mighty way tonight, God, Lord Jesus, that they release the sin, the filth that has trapped them, God, Lord, to understand that there is victory tonight. There is pain today, but there is joy tomorrow if we just accept your love and your grace and say, God, we owe you everything. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray right now that you begin to speak to the hearts of those who don't know you, God. That they can get to know you and have that relationship with you. God, that they can see good things happening in their life. God, Lord, I pray for those who maybe have backslidden, God, Lord, that have chose to live a life for you, but yet the world came at them and they just got knocked over. God, Lord, remind them that they are young. They are teenagers, that it's a progress. It is a progress. God, Lord, I pray right now that you begin to move in these altars. Guys, no more being broken. No more being defeated. Our God has overcome death. He has cut the head off that serpent. It is time to get excited, students. It's time to let it go. It's time to change our lives and have a new beginning. Those three days are for you to have a happy life if you choose to have it. And you simply can have it by just saying, Jesus, I need you in my life. That's the first step, guys. Quit thinking about so far ahead and focus on the right now. If there's someone in this room that you knew about this, Jesus, you've heard the stories time and time again, but it's sinking tonight and understood how real it is that he gave his life for you. And now you're ready to give your life to Him. If that's you, if you never had Jesus in your heart, if you're ready to change your life, you say, God, I want something new. I want something different. I want you to come to this altar. If that's you, if you don't have a relationship with Christ, before you can tackle anything, it's you got to get to know Him. And it's simple. Don't be ashamed of this walk because this is a walk to victory. Because every Christian has to make this choice in their life. It's the greatest step that you'll ever take. So if that's you, I want you to come to this altar. Jesus paid it all, and all to Him we owe. Every head bowed and every eye closed. Now if it's you, if you face the fact tonight that you've been spitting in His face, that you were the one that put the thorns on His head, if that's you, if you loved Him at one time, but yet for some reason you just fell, and you pushed him aside. He's saying, come home to me tonight. There's nothing that can change my mind. I love you. If that's you, I want you to come to this altar and say, God, I want you to take the masturbation. God, I want you to take the drugs and the boys and the girls. God, Lord, I want you to strip this homosexuality out of me. Because he did that on that cross and he wants to give you complete victory. Paid it all. All to him. We owe. I'm telling you guys, there's somebody in this room that he's saying, I love you, but I can't stop these knuckleheads in this world from either harming you or for something happening because of a stupid choice. God is a God of free will. We have to choose to love him. And what he's saying is, man, please come see me tonight because tomorrow's not promised. Guys, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what you've done. You can choose tonight to say, God, I'm going to stop doing this. Don't be afraid of falling. Don't be afraid of falling because He's going to be right here to catch you and pick you up. He paid our debts. So come to Him. Let Him work in you. God's just not going to change in an instant. But he's gonna get you through it. Thank you, Jesus. If there's anyone else, guys, please grab a hold of this tonight. He went to that cross for you. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to admit. That you're weak, that you're a sinner. That's why he did that. Sin was washed away.
away. Tonight's the night to become brand new again. To become brand new. I believe someone else in here, Miss Jessica, if you'll play that song one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that they just be obedient to you, God. Lord, let them know tonight is the night, God, Lord, to quit putting it off. Jesus. I'm telling you, someone in here, you're so close. You're fidgeting in that seat. That's the Holy Spirit prompting you. It's okay. Come down. We're going to love on you. We're not going to think less of you. More importantly, he's not going to think less of you. He is saying, time. It is time. Let's make a change. Let's be bold. Tomorrow, let's go tell our friends that we're done with that. Come be brand new is what he's saying. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Simply love on it. This is your moment. This is your moment. You may have failed a thousand times, but he's here to pick you up again and say, let's do this. Let's do this. Three days to change the face of the planet. It's about to change your life. Dear Heavenly Father, but I pray right now for these students, God, Lord, for the strongholds, for the addictions, God, for the pain and suffering. God, Lord, remind them that you took that 2,000 years ago. God, Lord, remind them that you love them no matter what. Because you said, go tell Peter that tonight, God, you were telling them the same thing. Students, now that we're doing this, we got to live it out. We've got to live it out. And let me tell you, you can do that. You can do that. Because you have them inside of you. Guys, we can fight this battle because it's already been won. 